Okay, so uh, what happened? Uh, I'm not really sure. All I know is the, the band came off. Uh, it might have had something to do with the fact that the band had a really small kink in it that was, uh, you know, operator air. Uh, but now it's got a really big kink in it. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that bandsaw bands are not supposed to have corners in them. Uh, and there's a couple of little teeth on there that got chipped off in the, the little uh, incident as well. So, as luck would have it, it's the, uh, the only band I got with me. I didn't bring any others with me today because, you know, I wasn't planning on doing that much, just kind of playing around with it. So, of course, I would mess this one up. Um, I don't think that my blade tracking's off. Well, it might be now, but uh, <laughs> I, I don't think that was the cause of the, uh, the band popping off. I don't think. So, anyway, it's 4 o'clock, so I'm not going to bother with running back home and getting the, another band and bringing it over here. So, I'm done for today, but hopefully I'll be at back out in another couple days to try messing around with this thing again. So since it's going to be a couple days before I'm back out here, I'm having to empty out the, uh, the lubrication tank because uh, it's supposed to get below freezing and I don't want stuff to freeze up inside the, the tank or the tubes or anything. Round two. So I actually came out here a couple days ago. I didn't bring you guys with me because it was a little bit uh, drizzly out. And, you know, I was looking out for you guys. I didn't want you guys to get wet. So, you know, I, I didn't bring you out with me. But I really didn't do that much. Uh, I did finish cutting that little board or that little log that I was uh, messing with in the last little segment there. Um, and I did get it cut up. Now, what happened with the, uh, the band popping off? Well, I think that I was running too much lube on the band and it actually caused the band to slip off the wheels. Um, I think. I was doing a little research into it and apparently that is possible. So I uh, cut way back on how much I was using and didn't have a single problem after that. So I actually think that that might have been what the problem was with the band coming off. So today we're going to mess around with this thing over here. This is the, the biggest of the three little cedar logs that I had down here. It's maybe, I don't know, 10 inches across here. And as is the case with a lot of cedars around here, it was had a double trunk coming out. So I think I'm going to cut off this foot here at the end, cut it here, and then cut it down here so it'll fit on the mill because I've only got... 10 foot 5 inches of cutting length, so I'll cut it probably around 10 foot 3. So another helpful tip that I've come across is that if you mark 1 inch increments on your little log supports, uh, when they're in your uh, little holders here, you can then easily look at the support and tell how high up it is. That way, when you're making your cuts, you can easily tell that your supports are going to be below where your band is cutting. And there we go. Uh, not sure how long it's going to last. I don't know if it's going to rub off or not, but we'll see if this helps any. So this whole thing has been a bit of a uh, learning experience. Uh, one thing I just found is that I'm not careful. The knob that holds this little uh, indicator on here can rattle loose and my line slid down and it was throwing all my cuts off. So I had to go back through part way through cutting the uh, that log and check my height and readjust stuff and then recut some of the boards that I'd cut. 
Uh, so some of them are a little bit strange widths. Like this one right here, I think is more like six and a half or something. But I don't know. I'm just kind of messing around with it. I'm not. The stuff is doesn't really have a purpose at the moment. It's not for a particular project. It's just just sort of get some experience with the mill and try figuring out what I'm doing. So over here I've got a really old, uh, I think it's a cedar log. It's been kicking around the house for probably eight or ten years uh, now. And I have no idea if it's still good in the middle or not. But I figured, eh, I'll bring it over here and cut it open and see what it looks like. So yesterday, after I finished messing around with those little cedar logs, I went for a very long walk to uh, go work on a locust that had come down. I went all the way over there, and it's just a little little locust tree. It's maybe 12 by 14 inches, something like that, that had uprooted itself and fallen over right over here. And so I decided that would be a nice little piece of wood to cut and drag over here and I got it loaded up onto the, uh, the mill here. I used a few pieces of slab wood as ramps and rolled it right up there so now we're gonna start cutting some uh, some real wood here and I think the stuff that comes out of here I've actually got a project for this possibly. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I certainly enjoyed making it and getting a chance to play with my new toy. Um, I haven't really done a lot as you can see with it, but I gotta say I have learned a ton just in the little bit that I have uh, been messing around with it. I uh, learned 
multiple something news every time that I've been using it. And I'm sure I still have a ton more to learn about running it and the best way to cut stuff up, uh, getting the most out of the logs, etc. Hopefully sometime in the near future, uh, I'll get a chance to use these locust uh, boards that I cut up. I've got a small project that I'm hoping to use them for, and uh, so keep an eye out for that. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you next time.